welcome back. This is Bowser Scooby with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy III. I'm joined, as always, by my trusty squad of Abel, Nelvin, Bloon, and Sackman. When we last left off, we were in the middle of the Cave of Tides, looking for the water crystal. We came across these stairs. Are, are they scary stairs? Is there something awesome on the other side? No. No, there's not. But there is a path up here, and Abel somehow lost his helmet in the transition, which is not awesome at all. If we keep going over to the right, though, we can eventually find Blizzaga, which is our first level 3 magic. I'm going to teach it to Novin, even though he cannot use it yet. Level 4 magic, but level 3 elemental magic, I should say. So now it's pretty much back through this long path once again to head back to the to the correct way to go through the dungeon. Back across this bridge and down these stairs and we're back on the main path. Awesome! Let's go across this bridge and follow this path then to fight crab enemies. Awesome! We've got crabs. I... I, I don't even know. A Galia Raptor? They're crabs. Oh! Arya comes in. I forgot to mention that Arya is here. She casts... She goes between Cura and Protect. It's mostly Protect, though. Gotten, I think this is the fourth Protect I've gotten, as opposed to one Cura. There we go. There's Bloom coming in with some good damage. In comes Whirlpool! Got one! Nice! And they got the other one! The one that hadn't already been hit. 12 damage, and then Abel's come in to save the day. Um, if you look real carefully, you can see the green number next to next to Abel. That is what he heals by using the blood sword. The blood sword is awesome. 520 gil, 500 experience. Abel gains a level, and we get a potion. Now, from what I see, the, bl the blood sword is not nearly as powerful as it was in Final Fantasy 2, so I have no problem using it this time. Let's keep heading over to the right. And hopefully we can find, there we go, some stairs that lead further down. That lead to more stairs where there's water everywhere. You cannot go into the deep water though. You can only go pretty much where you would normally think you could go. And let's keep going around this large pool. And... Okay, I don't think there's anything over there. So let's just head up the stairs. Before we head up those stairs, um, I did equip... Sackman with the, the light arrow so that he can inflict lightning damage. I only have 20 of those, so I saved him until just now. Because you know we're going to fight a water boss at the end of this, right? So I'm pretty sure it's on the other side of these stairs, so let's go ahead and equip those now. Healed up, everybody. Let's go. Let's go see if we can find the water crystal. That sounds like crystal music to me, and there is the water crystal. Arya walks up to it. She has very long... Is that hair or a cape? It's a cape. That it, no, it's her hair. Her very, very pointy and unmoving hair. Crystal of water. It is time for you to regain your light. Arya begins to pray, holding the shard out toward the crystal. And... And what? Does praying work this time? Does it work every time? Look! The crystal is regaining its light! That's good. It is now your turn! You must merge the light within you with the one within the water crystal. Only then will the crystal regain its true light and banish the darkness from this world. Then time will flow once more. Okay! Let me just hold out my light, my inner light. So that it can merge. Look out! Don't push me! No! Arya! It's not a time for a nap! Arya, no! It seems luck is on your side today, warriors of the light. What the hell is that? 
to Octopus Man. I am Kraken. Kraken, Kraken, whatever. Tasked by Lord Zandy to steal the light from the crystal of water and you, you are all about to die. Arya can wait. And now it's boss time up against the Kraken. We have released it. And, uh, yeah, it, let's attack it. We're going to use terrain because terrain is awesome. But instead of just attacking it, even though I do have the two books of lightning, which or books of light, which is its weakness, I am going to use... Where is it? Zeus's Wrath deals lightning damage. Because that does a shit ton of damage. And let's just do a regular attack barrage. I don't think it is necessary this time. I might compare though. There we go. 1768 damage from one Zeus's Wrath. 544. We're just racking up damage already. Go, Ice Pillar. Tell me that doesn't heal. No, it does not. It was almost 4, 1400 damage. But damn, did he do a, a number on us. And then Abel can heal some of that back, which is awesome. Um, yeah, yeah, true, everybody. You, uh, what am I doing? No, Zeus is, Zeus is wrath again. Because that was a shit ton of damage. Where is that? There it is. And then you, let's try Barrage. We can try it. And it cast Blind. It wasted its turn, pretty much. Uh, it hit Nova. I don't think that matters. Oh, Balloon's almost gone. I don't think I need to worry too much about that, though. No, it does a little more damage. The barrage does a little bit more damage. I will keep that in mind from now on. Another 1,888 damage. Go, Ice Pillar! To, for another 1,400 damage, and down goes the Kraken! That was... That was... A little bit easier than I thought. It went a lot faster than I remember. We get 5,500 gil, 1,320 experience, but nobody gets a level up or anything. It's kind of disappointing. Arya! Did us leaving you behind make you die? Arya! Surely you can live five minutes. The crystal has regained its true light. Thank you. I... You must take this. The, the power of water. Arya has blessed you with the power of water. Arya, be strong! You can't leave us! N no, it's too late for me. Y you must go. Promise me. Promise me you will banish the darkness and restore peace to the world. Arya, no! Arya! Like, we met her, like, this episode? Last last episode. An earthquake? We have to get out of here. Thank you, Invisible Novin. Watch out! Ah! No, not another earthquake. Earthquakes are always bad. What the... Holy crap, there's, there's places. Ah, <laughs> oh, we just opened up the world, apparently, by defeating the Kraken. So, apparently we did, we did pretty good. Uh-oh. We're lying down. Warriors of the Light. Yes, old witch-looking person? You must seek out Doga. He is the only one who can help you defeat Sandy. Seek Doga on the continent of Dalg. You speak strange words! Oh, only Abel passed out. Everybody else was cool. Whoa, what? When? How? Where am I? We're in Amor, the city of water. Gramps found us in the temple and brought us here. We had been asleep for three straight days, and the world has changed much in that span. No one here remembers having their time stopped, as, as if it never happened. Of course not. Why would they remember that kind of stuff? But if you remember, we do have new jobs. So let's take a look at those. What do we have? 
Man, this place, this thing is filling up. Okay, uh, these we've all seen, but we do have Dragoon, Viking, Dark Knight, Evoker, and Bard. Honestly, I don't know which ones I want to do right now. Hold on for one second. Sorry, just had to check on time. We do have a little bit of time for, for wiggle room here. Let's see what this guy says. Let me give you a brief description of your jobs. Rangers are experts in ranged combat with their bows. They can attack for full damage from even the back line. The barrage ability allows them to unleash a hail of projectiles at the enemy. Knights take pride in their high defense. Their defendability allows them to step in and take damage for weakened allies. And they can use white magic too. Scholars can examine enemies and spot their weak points. They, also, they can also enhance the effects of items they use. They can dispel magic effects from enemies they've studied. Surprisingly enough, these bookworms can also use magic. Geomancers harness the power of nature itself and manifest it in their different terrain attacks. Their damage potential rises exponentially by job level. I am a big fan of geomancers now. <laughs> I wasn't before, but... But I was convinced. Good lord. Uh, he, Novin, hopefully I can get this on screen sometime. He, he occasionally does a move called Shadow Flare. And last time I saw Shadow Flare, it did over 5,000 damage. It was awesome. Is that your ship in the cove? I saw that. Goldor. Goldor? Yeah, I saw that Goldor locked it down with a giant chain so it wouldn't be going anywhere soon. Thank you, Goldor. Legend says that four warriors from the land of darkness came forth and subdued the overflowing light. Goldor is afraid that you four are those warriors of legend. He put a chain on your ship to stop you from getting to his crystal. Damn you, Goldor! We are not your enemy. Is there, is there a piano or a dancing girl here? There is a piano. Abel, show us your, 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 show us your skills. Come on, Abel. I know you got it. You got this. Fantabulous! Self-taught, bitches! So sweet, Abel somehow really mastered the piano somewhere along the line. I feel like I've been dreaming for a very long time. Yes, of course. And Goldor is made of gold! It's gold! Everything's under lock and key. I have magic keys! Hills far to the south. Okay. It's a big scary bog. It's a bottomless bog. Well, if it's bottomless, then you'll never stop falling. Whatever. You can't cross the bottomless bog unless you have Levergrass shoes. I think Delano owned a few of those. You can find her in the sewers. Awesome. <laughs> Let's go meet Delilah in the sewers. Uh, I don't know how he does it, but I hear that magic bounces right off of Goldar. That's not good. It's sounds like reflect. Can I, can I talk to you? Can I... I can't talk to the bartender. Bartender. I'm you, bartender. There's no dancing girl here? I want to see if they knew a different dance. I'm always looking for new and exciting dances. Kind of, sort of. Do you have any... You'd be the item shop, wouldn't you? Do you have any new items? Uh, you have this all greens. He used to attract something, uh, Fat Chocobo, if you wanted to summon him for whatever reason. I don't know. I, I, I don't think I ever used the Fat Chocobo. I'll have to, to see if there's a good reason. Okay, so now we're outside in town. Are you looking for the crystal? You should look for Goldar's Manor in the marshlands to the south. Uh, the marshlands? I hear that place is awful. I haven't been there myself, though. And okay, there's there's the uh, the healing spring if you want to revive party members. Let's see if they have new armor. I bet they do. I bet they do. What do you have for me? You have Viking stuff, heroic shield, of course, thief gloves. Even though I don't have a thief, black guard, black cow, black belt, gi, chakra band. Holy crap! And that stuff is expensive as hell. 
And the weapon shop here. What do you have? Do you, I bet you have very, yes, very expensive equipment. You got a battle axe, a man gauche, um, which is probably for the thief, thunder spear, which is for the dragoon, Celine bow, boomerang, boomerang. I didn't know they had boomerangs and, and a Madura harp for the bard. I'll have to see if the bard is actually good in this game. I can't remember. It's been so long and. I think last time I played this game, I just went onion dying, like, the whole time. What's up, Moogle? I don't, I don't think I need to do mail things anymore. So I'm just going to ignore you for now. Is there a magic shop somewhere around here? I bet there's some really good magic in this town. What's up, dude? Gil! The heroes of Amor look for a group of old men. Do I want... There's no way you would give me all this stuff. Just lying around without secret something. No, seriously, you would? That's bullshit. Nothing. Really. I'll... I'm on to you, game. I know what you're up to. Okay, there's something down there, obviously, but I don't know how to get there. Where the hell is this magic shop? What's up, kid with a mohawk? You should hit up the tavern. It's a hot spot for juicy scuttlebutt. Awesome. I just that's just what I wanted to look for. It's locked, of course. Ah, oh, but it looks like I am out of time, so we'll have to finish exploring this town next time. Hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.